The high school baseball playoffs are in full swing at Northside Field. Class 6A round two matchup between Round Rock Westwood and the Clark Cougars. Top of the first, Westwood's Matt Gola hits a slow grounder back to the pitcher, Cody Edwards, who turns and fires the second for one out. The Cougars try to get the double play at home, but the throw is too late, and Round Rock takes a 1-0 lead. Top of the third, Warriors have runners on the corners again. Ridge Morgan hits it to Matt Gola for the fielder's choice. Another run would score, but the Cougars come back to win it 3-2 with a walk-off RBI triple. To the second round of the 5A baseball playoffs we go. McCollum Cowboys hosting the Canyon Cougars at NEISD Sports Park. Cougars up 5-0 in the second when we arrive and adding on in the fifth with the runner on third. Bryson Garza blasts the pitch to the gap between the center and right field for an RBI single. Next batter, Blake Hollingshead smokes this one past the diving shortstop at 7-0 Cougars, and Canyon wins it 11-0 in five innings. Back to Class 6A, second round action. The Reagan Rattlers dominated Round Rock Cedar Ridge. Top of the first, Britton Moore rips one down the left field line and good for a three-run double, and the Rattlers lead 8-0. They scored 12 runs at the top of the first, and the Rattlers cruise in game one 19-3. Britton Greer had a two-run shot in that inning as well. The Universal City Randolph girls took home the class 3A team state title, the UIL state track and field championships last night. And they can thank a strong core of freshmen leading the way. The headliner was Taylor Nunez, who took home four state titles in her first ever state championship meet. Nunez anchored the Rohawks four by 100 meter relay to victory in 47.01 seconds, then won the 100 meter dash and a state record time of 11.59. She also won the 200 meter dash and the long jump. As a freshman, Nunez has set the bar extremely high. It just makes me want to go even harder. This has definitely made me even more humble because I know there's people coming to take my spot, and I definitely want to let that happen. So I'm just going to keep pushing every single day. This marks the fourth state title for the Randolph girls and their first in 10 years. John Hansen defended both of his state titles yesterday at the UIL Class 3A State Track and Field Championships in Austin. The senior from Great Hearts, Northern Oaks, demolished the field in the Class 3A discus, delivering his best throw right out of the gates at 187 feet, 7 inches. The shot put, a eh, different story. Hansen had to rally in the fourth round, and he won the competition by just 2 inches at 62 feet, 9 and 3 quarters inches. Hansen admits he was tired after the discus. I knew it's going to come down to the wire like last year's and I had to really dig deep and I had to fix my form midway through and then if I didn't have my coach uh, alongside me that wouldn't have happened so uh, this one is, much, is as much hers as it is mine and uh, I think it happened in pretty dramatic fashion like winning by two inches that's, that's scary <laughs> it's really scary. Big old smile. Look at that gold medal. Hansen is already committed to Purdue for college and is excited to help the Boilermakers win Big Ten titles. Well, that's all impressive, but I'm more impressed about the underclassman who is the big <laughs> woman on campus right. with four state titles. Good for her. Thanks, Blair. We'll, be, well, actually, we're going to head over to SA Live. Oh, yes. We have robots, robots on the show today. Oh, yes. Uprising of the machines. The San Antonio robotics team is going to an international robotics competition. And I've got team coach Eddie Saucedo here. And this is exciting for these fourth through seventh graders, right? Absolutely. They are uh, Central Region uh, champions. They got second place. This is their third year in a row to be champions. So they've worked hard since August. And next week they go to the Invitational up at Razorback in Arkansas. So they're super excited. Right, Wolfbots? Yeah! All right, let's get your chant. Three, two, one. Work together, never quit. watch some of those robots in action in a bit. But Jen may be in a bit of a sticky situation, right? <laughs> exactly. Oh, they're so cute, by the way. Uh, yes, it's, it's an American-Japanese donut combination. Rebecca joins me, and we're talking about mochi nuts. You're going to show me how to glaze this really quick, right? Yeah. So uh, first, you need to mix the icing real quick, just to make sure that there's no like hard things. And you're just going to put it right in there. You're going to lift it straight up. Ooh. You're going to kind of swirl it a little, little bit. dance. You're going to shake it <laughs> off a little bit to get that extra icing off. Beautiful. And then you just flip it, and then you just go around, and it's a little bit hard, so we'll just dip it in All again. All right, and we're going to add some toppings to that, have some fun, lots of things coming up on SA Live. Thanks. All right, we do a little bit better in the temperature department today because of the extra clouds, but this weekend will be hot and sunny. Our highs get back closer to the triple digit mark, even through early next week. Enjoy that lunar eclipse Sunday night. That'll be cool, guys. Thanks for that, Katie.
All right, we're going to head over to SA Live where they have your favorite donuts. <laughs> donuts, all the sweets. Can't wait to see it. SA Live starts right now. Today on SA Live, if you're feeling cramped in your space, then we have five ways on how to make a room feel bigger. Plus, not all CrossFit gyms are alike. We take you to a CrossFit gym that lets you find a workout routine that's best for your body. And the KSAT Insider Prize Wheel has a new winner. Today's contestant spins the wheel round and round. Where does it land? Stick around and find out. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Oh, hello and happy Friday the 13th. Whoa, <laughs> yes, that's right. We have robots. Robots on the show today. Robots. Good afternoon, I'm Fiona Gorstiza. And I'm Jan Tobias Chesky filling in for Mike Osterhage today. <laughs> yes, Happy Friday. Uh, we have an uprising of the machines today on the show. The San Antonio Robotics team is going to an international robotics competition. And here to tell us all about the fourth through seventh graders that make up Wolfbots Robotics team is team coach, Coach Eddie Salcedo. Welcome. Oh, thanks for having us. Yeah, we're really excited to be here. I know the kids are super excited. They've been working since August uh, on, this, on this project and on the robot. They go to Arkansas next week for the Invitational. Uh, so I know they're they're super excited. They're part of the first organization. Yeah. Um, and yeah, tell us about the Wolfbots. So so the Wolfbots, it's fourth through seventh graders, and uh, it's part of the first organization. First organization tries to get STEM in uh, in in expose the kids, let them learn about science, engineering, technology. But it's also about teamwork. It's about life skills. It's about those things about what can you do for your career, but also just how to manage in working together to solve problems. Uh, you know, again, life you know, career or just to help your community. And that's one of the things that they're really passionate about. Yes, and what, is that part of the first then? Right? Yes, that's mm -hmm. exactly, that's one of the, the core values of the first organization. Uh, teamwork, uh, inclusion, uh, problem solving, innovation, all those tools that they use in order to solve, whether it's a robot table or whether they also solve the problem in the community that they found mm -hmm. and they came up with their own solutions. So, so they're all things that they put together. So they all work together as a team to create what we're seeing on this yeah, table so cool, right now. Guys, so what cool. are we seeing? So what you're seeing, this is the game mat. And so they, they built the robot from scratch and they their job is to accomplish certain missions. So on this table, there may be 20 different things that you can accomplish for points. And you have two and a half minutes to do as many as you can. And so you got to figure out the timing, you got to figure out strategy, um, and then what they do is they, they build the components and the little attachments in order to lift, push, drop off and they also have to program. And that's the, the tricky part. You gotta put all that together uh, in that two and a half minute time frame. All right, so you've been invited to something pretty big next week. What is that? Absolutely. Uh, yes, yeah, so the Razorback Invitational. So what that is is um, they, they competed here locally and so they were Central Region champions. And from that, uh, they got invited by the University of Arkansas, by the engineering wow. uh, college up there to go compete. So there's 80 teams up in Arkansas uh, from around the world, not only in the United States, there's there's teams that are coming from all over, from Korea and, and uh, Israel, um, and they're gonna compete and they're gonna talk about their project, they're gonna talk about their robot, and they're gonna compete this mat up there. And so, represent San Antonio. So. Represent San Antonio and Texas. There's only three teams in Texas I, attending, I so it's gonna be great. That is so incredibly cool for you guys, by the way. And your parents are all standing there, and I know they are incredibly proud, you guys. That's right, we got some cheering for the parents. All right, this is Mary Claire. Mary Claire, what grade are you in? I'm in sixth grade. Sixth grade. Okay, so tell me about working on the projects. I was really fun because I love to do research, and we learned so much about cargo and the severe weather events that affect it. And we were able to hopefully help people in our community that need this help. All right, and Alejandro? What grade are you in? I'm in sixth grade. Sixth grade also. All right, tell me about working on the attachments. Um, so the attachments is a fun and innovative way we can find a way to figure out how to complete these missions in a successful way. All right. Way. Okay, Mary Claire, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be an author. An author? We got words right here. We're helping you get on your way. What about you, Alejandro? I would like to be a biomedical engineer. Wow. We don't have anything like that on the show today, but that is awesome. <laughs> Okay, all right, now Penny, Todd, what grade are you in? 
Fourth grade. Fourth grade. And tell me how you contributed to this project. Well, I helped with the website, which is texaswolfbots.com. There's even a page that has our project and robot notebook, which is everything we did as a team this year. Oh, that is so incredibly cool. What do you want to be when you grow up? A movie director. Oh, we got cameras, we got lights, so we're, we're helping you out already. Okay. Very, very exciting. All right, so you said three teams, right? Only three teams? Three teams out of Texas got invited, oh. correct. Wow, yeah. okay. And you've won championships for the past three years and qualified for the world championships, but then what happened? Yeah, so they, uh, back in 2020, you all remember that year, um, they they won, um, and in fact, they got, they got invited to go to Arkansas back in 2020. COVID hit so it got canceled uh, they came back the next year and they won the whole shooting match wow. here in San Antonio and they were champions again but again world championships which they would have gone to was canceled due to COVID mm -hmm. so this is the first year they said you know what? we're not done yet we're excited and uh, and so they got they got second place championship and, and they get to go back to Arkansas and, and they're going what a they're going what a great yeah. Back to you guys. Yes. So yeah, they've been working for three years to, to, huh? to get back there. Amazing, so. yes. amazing work. Well, best of luck, you guys. Keep us posted. We're cheering for you. For more information on the Wolfbots robotic team, head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we have provided a link or just scan that QR code on your screen. Yes. Okay. <laughs> So, because we have robots, robots on the show today, and then you remember all the you know, like I loved Rosie the robot on the yes, Jetsons, yes. John Five, yes, right? Yes. Okay. So that got us thinking. You know, what chores would you ha want a robot to do for you? Yeah. Oh, that would be a dream. Laundry for me, all the way. Yeah. Wash, Any fold, clean, house cleaning away. whatsoever. <laughs> I just need Rosie from yes, the Jetsons. Yes, yes. You know, meals too. <laughs> that would be oh. great. Okay, now you're talking. Yes, let us know and tag us at SA Live Kesa on Facebook or Twitter, and we make sure you answer a little later in the show. I mean, I'm interested to see those answers. Robot, I can do taxes. <laughs> oh, I mean, the list goes on there and you on. Go. Okay. All right. Well, if you have a room in your house or apartment that feels small and tight, well, we have some tips for you. Yes, we spoke with a local designer. Five ways to make a room feel larger. Take a look. Smaller space has its perks. A lot of times it's less expensive, there's less to clean, but the challenge can be decorating that smaller space. Today we get help from a local expert on how you can make any room in your home feel larger. Hi, I'm Brandi Sutherland and welcome to my home. I've been doing interior design for about 10 years now and I love designing homes for families. Today I can't wait to bring you into my home to share my design tips and tricks with you. Brandy has five design tips to share today. Some are so simple, yet effective, and it doesn't matter if it's a living room or a powder room. We're pulling in the local experts to share the do's and don'ts on today's Happy Space. And joining me now, Brandy Sutherland, busy mom of three, and you've always had a passion, right, for creating and designing. Where did this come from? It, you know, it really started when I was a kid. My mom would tell you I always had an opinion about my space, and luckily she really let me go with it. When I was in high school, she let me tear out the carpet in my room and totally just go at it, redesign it, and ever since then, it's just kind of been a passion of mine. Well, let me just say, this is a gorgeous setting that you have here, so you're very good at this. Thank you. I do <laughs> I have fun. <laughs> already. And so we're talking space today, and it's always nice to make your space feel larger. Yes. So today you have five tips on how you can make any space space in the home the larger, right? I would say number one, I like to add mirrors to a space. Um, by adding mirrors to a space, it allows like the, the illusion that the room feels bigger. It's reflecting light. So instead of a wall stopping, it almost feels like, you know, the space just continues on and on. So that for starters just gives you, you know, a way to make your space feel larger. I think I've been in places where I'm like, wait, does it keep going? <laughs> You're right about that. Definitely gives you that depth there. Yes. Um, but also furniture, right? Let's talk about that. Yes, furniture plays a big part um, whenever you're designing a space. You know, like we're sitting here in a living room today and you know, you wanna pick out a big anchor piece of furniture. So one way you do that, you have your big anchor piece of furniture and then you wanna pick some pieces that are lighter, you know, have legs on them or you know, you see space, you see light under them. Um, that is another way versus having a bunch of very bulky pieces because nothing will make your room look small smaller than a bunch of oversized furniture pieces. So balance is the key for sure. Balancing it all out. And yes. then what about color? When it comes to adding some pops of color or 
like no color, no color pops. Right. What's best? Well, the lighter the room color, the larger the space is gonna feel. So I definitely aim for, you know, if the space is already small, you wanna go with a, a light color. And I think white's a great, you know, neutral color. And then you mentioned adding a larger piece, which may not seem like it makes sense, right? If you're wanting to make the space feel larger and it's already kind of small. So um, how does that add to it when you do that? So one of the things I like to do is add a large scale like like piece of art, you know, that can really make your space, you know, if you have, like if you want the illusion of having taller walls or, you know, taller ceiling height, bring in a, you know, large piece of art and it really makes your space feel larger. Got it. And then the lighting. First of all, you have great lighting in here. Uh, so how can we play with that um, and make our space feel larger? So whenever you're designing your house, you know, I think it's nice to have, you know, ceiling lighting, you know, can lights. And then on top of that, you can add chandeliers to your space, lamps, floor lamps, table lamps. Um, it's all about layering in the pieces to really give your space that complete feel, to make it again feel larger. And you can adjust the lighting, you know, based on, on your mood for the day. So it really helps out with designing your space. All right, for more ins inspiration, design tips, and real estate news, visit the Happy Space section on salive.com or snap the QR code that is right there on your screen and it'll take you right there. Be sure to tune in next week. We'll tell you where you can save money on furniture and home decor. All right, SA Live continues with a local business that will help you find the right colors that match your body best. Plus, it's a Get Fit Friday and Fiona learns four CrossFit moves with perfect form. Way to go, Fiona. of what CrossFit is, Ooh. right? Okay, I know, I know what you're thinking, but you know what? Forget that, because not all CrossFit is the same. And we are here at CrossFit Lovo, and joining me right now is owner Lee Ring. All right, thanks for having me here, at least so far, because I don't know what we're gonna do yet, or what you're gonna make me do. <laughs> well, just, just wait. Just wait, I know, mere moments away. Absolutely. Tell us what makes this CrossFit different. Number one core value for us is fun. Uh, if I, you know, CrossFit is known to have, uh, to be very difficult. And I can't get people to do difficult things if they're not having fun first. They don't like to pay the money for it and actually do the things. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and so we have a great community, both gyms. We opened the second gym in 2020, so about a year ago. We've owned this gym here at Dezavala for seven years now. So I'm gonna learn the proper form for a deadlift, right? Correct. Okay, now you have the real deal over there and I have kind of the, the bunny look, slope. They look big, they look the big. The bunny slope. <laughs> <laughs> weights over here, right? Okay. All right. How do we? How do I start? Okay. So your feet are going to be right underneath your hips. You're going to approach the bar all the way towards the shins as close as you possibly can. Okay. And then we're going to have our hands about a thumb's distance away from our hips. Okay. We're going to bend down. You do not have to have a flat back just yet. Hands are going to be even on the barbell. Yep, okay. Exactly right. We're going to bring our glutes down uh -huh. below the shoulders. Pinch our shoulder blades back. Okay. Very good. And all we're going to do is trace our legs up and lift. Back down, yeah. pick the butt back behind you, Got like it. you're closing the car door, trace down those thighs, and then squat down when we get back past the knees, and we're good to go. Very good. All right, next movement, Fiona, is gonna be the Russian kettlebell swing. We're gonna have our, our feet just slightly wider than our deadlift, right outside the hips. The kettlebell's gonna be about a foot away in front of us. Okay. We're gonna come down just like our deadlift, butt down, shoulders back, and this guy's gonna come straight up, high and tight, no room between the kettlebell and you. Bring it in, pop the hips, bring that to eye level. Just like that. Pop those hips, yeah, absolutely. Okay, now we're gonna demonstrate the dumbbell power snatch. Here's okay. your dumbbell. Okay. Is this, uh, hold it like this? Yep, just, yeah, okay. absolutely. Right there, open palm. What we're gonna do is widen our feet just a little bit. Yep, okay. exactly right. Just like that deadlift, we're gonna put one head of the dumbbell down on the ground. Nice flat back, shoulder blades back, good. Okay. We're gonna pull up through our hips, long arm, and then rotate, jump over the top. Good. Like Boom, like that? there you go, absolutely. All right, so now that I've got a solid foundation, thanks to you, 
Uh, tell folks where you're located and how they can sign up. Sure, uh, so we have two locations. We have one at, uh, right here, I-10 in De Zavala. We have another location, I-10 in Hebner, so only two miles apart. Um, and our website is crossfitlobo.com. You can see the schedule on there. We have 11 class times Monday through Friday, and then we're open seven days a week between the two gyms, and we don't actually close. We'll have a class no matter what, 365 days a year. Um, go through the website if you're interested. You'll get on the phone with me, um, and we'll walk you through a free trial. No commitment, but you'll have to deal with me. <laughs> no, it's still a whole lot of fun, y'all. All right, for all that information, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just snap that QR code on your screen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to take this with me. Well, if a Japanese rice cake and an American doden had a baby, it would be a mochi nut. We decorate and taste them just ahead. And I'm getting good vibes about our next segment. Third Eye Gems is showing off their crystal jewelry on this Friday the 13th. So maybe you're wanting a little good energy in case, just in case, yeah. something goes wrong today. Right? right? You always need that good juju. Uh, Tiffany Campos, co-owner of Third Eye Gems, is here to tell us about yes. the crystal jewelry, but also the energy, right? That comes yes, along with it. definitely. Welcome. Hi, thanks for having <laughs> us. Yeah. So what is Third Eye Gems? So Third Eye Gems is a crystal jewelry company. We make, uh, my sister and I, we make crystal jewelry um, based off of different things as far as anklets, um, earrings, necklaces, bracelets. It's all body positivity, also for children and pups or Cats, <laughs> you know, whatever you have. Rabbits. Yeah, uh, it's not just for adults. Yeah, it's for I mean, not just for adults, not just for humans. Yes, right? animals as well. Um, we do specialize in making things in all sizes, or we can customize them for you so that, you know, people don't walk away from their uh, meant for them pieces. And, and let's talk about that, because the shopping experience when they come and pick out their jewelry at the markets that you're at, it's a full experience, yes, right? Yes, yes, definitely. So what we do is we basically let the people scan the table, we advise them to gravitate to what's calling them, and then eventually we'll end up going over it with them. So we'll tell them what's in it, and then ultimately most of the time it will be something that they're looking for or what we always say what's looking for them um, every piece is curated differently they all have owners we're just not sure who they belong to so when it comes down to it it's not just a financial transaction it's also an energy transaction because you can feel when the piece meets the right person it's so cool yes. right straight out of Harry Potter <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. All right, so how did the company get started? How'd you guys? So, um, honestly, the pandemic was a big deal for us as far as trying to still make some financial um, needs as well as being able to schedule, you know, our, mm -hmm. our make our schedule the way we wanted it to be. Um, we honestly, I was trying to do mommy and me pieces, and then it just, um, you know, went into a whirlwind of a different direction altogether mm. and so um, on, I feel like it got placed into our laps like it was actually gifted to us so I am very happy that we actually get an opportunity to not just you know make jewelry but we make jewelry with intention yes. so it, it's so much more than just um, you know your normal pair of earrings we're talking about prosperity protection yes. um, anxiety stress all well, all the okay, let's talk anxiety and stress because I know you said you know the, the, you know the pieces you know kind of have to find their owners but is there any particular pieces that help with just like say stress yes yeah, so amethyst is a very good stone it's actually part of the head chakra um, it's meant to help with anxiety OCD insomnia um, wow. it's all and then I all it's a protection stone by nature so what it does is the way that it protects you is it's a mental block basically you know you can't do it I don't think you're worth it it stops that from actually getting into your head because where's the easiest spot for someone to attack you in the mind mm -hmm. you know so yes. the amethyst is a very good stone to help make sure that you know you stay focused and that you know who you are and what you bring to the table Wow and then you and your 
sister both make the table? Oh yes, we both make everything here. Um, do you have a favorite much, piece on the table? Uh, I couldn't even choose. <laughs> What's calling uh, you? <laughs> to be yes. honest, I mean, I love our wire wrapped um, hoops. Uh -huh. They're always Those are beautiful. Yeah, and they all have different stones in them. Like for example, this one has obsidian, garnet, and howlite. So we're talking protection, overactive minds, as well as passion. Oh, so okay. you know they have yeah. all different things in them. And I also like our rosary chains over there too. Those are really good pieces. Oh, yes. And, and you have real a deal. quickly, mm -hmm. you have a deal for folks watching. Yes. So if you guys are watching. If you want to follow us, you can follow us on Instagram. It's third eye gems, 3rd3rd.i.gems. Um, if you do that, you can message us and we can give you information on our deal. It's 15% off of $25 or more. Um, you can just message us that you saw us on SA Live and we can go ahead and go from there. Perfect. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Tiffany. Yes. For more information on Third Eye Gems, just head to our website, SALive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab or just scan that QR code on your screen. Well, don't go anywhere because your wardrobe is about to pop in a good way. In a good way. <laughs> our guests can find the best colors for you to wear. And it's a one of a kind dessert. Mochinet show us how to decorate their increasingly popular menu items. I hope you're hungry. Keep it here on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, if American Donuts and Japanese rice cakes had a baby, I'm telling you, you're looking at it right there. It would be these mochi nuts. And joining us to talk about them is owner Chang Tan and Rebecca Mueller. Welcome, both of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. <laughs> this looks incredibly delicious. So, who came up with the mochi nut? So, mochi nut is originated from uh, Hawaii in the Japanese populations. And my friend, he brought all the recipe to the stateside in California. That's how everything started. Mm, and it's been so popular, right? Yes. So, you're going to show us how to glaze. We both have our setups here, right, Rebecca? Yeah. So, Okay, so tell us how do we do this? Alrighty, so first we gotta mix the bowls. So if y'all wanna mix it, we can just mix the icing a little bit mm -hmm. to make sure that it's soft enough for the mochi nut mm -hmm. to be on there. Okay. Then you wanna just pick up the mochi nut just straight up like that. And then you can just drop it in the icing. And it's still holding. Yeah. yeah. No, you, you can just let go. Let it go. It's all right. <laughs> and then you can just like push it down just a little okay. bit. So you wanna just do kinda like that. And then you'll do that again, you'll just pick it right back up. Go. Yeah. Here we go. Woo. Yeah. And then you'll just shake it in like dance. a circle. Like that, yes. Do a little dance. <laughs> all right. Got it. Got it. Got it. Alrighty. And then you'll just shake it from side to side a little bit to get all the icing off. And then you just want to shake it in like a circle again. Just Watch try to get more of that icing off. Okay. Yeah. And then once most of the icing is off, so you just want to shake it off a little bit more, you can just flip <laughs> it up like that. Okay. Just like turn it like Ready? that. Yeah. Cool. And then you just want to go in like a little circle. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Nice. So you yeah. like this in I your chocolate? Yeah. Like yeah. like, exactly. I'm going to call this the now. mochi nut I know. dance. I like it. So so now that it's all like smooth on top, yes. you yes. can just put it down. It's time to decorate. Okay. Oh. So you're going to choose like whatever kind of toppings you'd like. We have a variety here. Yeah. Ooh, okay. So how would you describe the taste? So it tastes delicious. I love them. I eat them every day. <laughs> so it's That's the correct answer. Yeah. yeah. So instead of like your regular yeast rice donut, mm -hmm. they're going to be made with the ingredients of mochi, which makes them like more crispy on the outside and soft and chewy and fluffy on the inside. Nice. Oh, okay. Right. And what flavors do you guys offer? Um, so we change our flavors every single day. We have a total of six flavors we offer a day, and we change them every single day. Every single day. Yeah. That's yes. a lot of work, but look how gorgeous they are. Yes. Wow. Is there one? Is there something that's consistent every? Is there a Yeah, we there? have a churro flavor every single day. Oh, oh okay. So yeah. So I was staring at my creation here. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> well, we're gonna taste this here, but tell me about what you have over there. We have the, the Korean hot, uh, hot dogs. And it's got a really nice cheese inside with the mozzarella cheese. So that is a Korean rice flour hot dog yes. or K dog for short, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. And cool look nickname. at the cheese. Look at that cheese. Oh my goodness, yes. oh my goodness the cheese pulled. That yes. is so, so you can order so this different good. ways, right, Rebecca? Yeah, so we have Uber, Grubhub, and DoorDash that you can order our mochi nuts from. For K dogs, you do have to be in store to order those, so mm -hmm. they can be fresh and you can get that really that good cheese, cheese pulled. Yeah, cheese yes. Pool, yes. You gotta have that. And tell people where you're located. Oh, yeah, so we have two locations one on Days of All and one on Stone Oak. Mm -hmm. 
right? And veteran-owned business, right? Yes, 14 years, still in the service. Thank you so much. Air Force, right? Yes, yeah. thank, thank you. Thank you for your service. And you have a one-year anniversary coming up in August. You planning yes. a big party? <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're going to keep it a surprise for now. Okay. But when you check out our Instagram, we'll definitely keep that. you updated with that. Okay. Perfect. And folks can order how? Yeah, you can order through Grubhub, Uber Eats, DoorDash, or you can come in and order. But for our K-Dogs, that's in-store only, so you get that really yes. good cheese pull. And you want to yeah, see the dance. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. <laughs> Emotion that dance. All right. Thank you. Of course, Days of All Road, Stone Oak Parkway, right? Mm -hmm. Your locations. Yes. One more time. All right. For more information on MochiNet, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the Ask Scene on SA Live tab, or just scan that QR code on your screen. All right, prizes, prizes, prizes. We have a new prize wheel winner ahead, how you can enter to win a brand new wheel of prizes. And look your best every day by dressing in the colors that match your body the best. We have an expert here to talk all about it. Stay with us. Discover the colors that love you best so that you can wear your colors and your colors won't wear you. Ooh, I like oh, that. help us, help <laughs> us, please. Christina Welch, color and style analyst and owner of House of Color San Antonio oh. North is here to help us find out the best colors that will work for you. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Help us. <laughs> Where should we start? Yes. So. <laughs> Tell us about, of course, House of Color. Why the U in color? Well, that's a very good observation. U is in color because this is a UK-based company. It's been in existence since the mid-80s and has been in the States for just over 12 years and San Antonio for just over a year. Very interesting. We were talking to you and learning more about it. By the way, uh -huh. you look gorgeous with that pop of pink there. I know, there. So I know my colors. Let's talk, right, of course. So let's talk about color analysis. What exactly Lisa. Okay, so color analysis is a process whereby you learn the qualities and characteristics of color that love you best. We use this color wheel, and if you look really closely, you can see that across the color wheel, you have greens, you have blues, you have dark neutrals. If we can say black's a dark neutral, oh, that's where that stands. Um, we have yellows, but basically, you just find the qualities and characteristics of color that love you best. Okay, and so, how, like, I mean, so what happens? Like, okay. if you make an appointment, walk us through that process. Okay, so when you arrive, what you do is you come barefaced, actually, mm -hmm. and that's because we need three essential ingredients. We need you, we need natural light, and we need these precision dyed drapes. And what we do is we take you through how color is divided. So color is divided four different ways. It can be, it starts with being yellow based or blue based. And that's the top half of this color wheel or the bottom half. And that's important because the undertones of your skin are either yellow or they are blue. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing your outer tones. I don't know what your undertones are. Mm -hmm. um, so that's important. And then we further divide it by colors being really bright and clear, which is where spring and winter sit. And then colors that are blended and muted, which is where autumn and summer sit. So we find those qualities that work best for you using these precision dye drapes. We drape them on you. They talk to your undertones, and yeah. I translate that, and I help you find what your best palette is. And it really makes life easier, right? You were telling me earlier because when you when you shop yes. or apply makeup, now you you'll narrow down the colors that complement you. Absolutely, yes. It it goes more than just the colors you put on your body. It mm -hmm. also affects the the color that you put on your hair. Your natural color will always work because we're looking from the inside out when we are going through this process. But we also put color on our face with our makeup. So what tones of makeup work? As well as the jewelry. You want your jewelry to look elevated and elegant and expensive yes. and not cheap and tacky. You don't want it to clash with you. So we go through a lot more information than just the best colors, but everything that you surround your face with. Wow. And so, you know, everybody knows, oh, the little black dress, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> but, you know, does the color black not work for everyone? Is, is it's, that it's true, yeah. it is true. The rumors are true. Black is not the best for everyone because it's highly saturated. And in a lot of people, it's actually too harsh. There's only one quadrant of color that has black in it. Oh. Um, and that also includes mascara. 
So if you wow. fall in this quadrant, which we call winter, black is your mascara and a color that you um, wear. We never tell you colors you can't right. wear, but we show you the best that you can. So you get dark neutrals in every season. A navy might be better for you. Perhaps a chocolate brown might be better mm. as a dark neutral. Okay. And you can't tell with us, right? It's I can't. Quick. I'm sorry. I wish I could. Yeah, she's got to dig into her undertones. I want to do. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> taking notes for us. We'll make okay. an appointment. Yes. yes. All right. All and right. so the appointment uh, is about a couple hours long. Is it, vir is it virtual? Is that an option? That's a great question. Virtual is not an option okay. for color analysis because we need that natural light to be able to see Got how it. the drapes respond to your undertones. And color online just yeah. it changes. It right. does. Right. Yes. Yeah. Thank yes. you so much. And again, Thank for more you. information, you can head over to SALive.com, click the Ad Scene on SA Live tab, or scan that QR code that is right there on your screen. Thank you. Thank you. Oops. Next on the show, Kisa Insider Prize Will winner is just moments away. Every spin is a win, and you could be next. Keep it here. All right, we have a whole new wheel of prizes for one lucky KSAT Insider today. And all the prizes on the KSAT Insider Prize Wheel are from Living Spaces this month, including the big prize, a $1,000 gift card. Let's meet our winner, folks. It is Susan Perez from San Antonio. Congratulations. Hey there. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, so we hear you've been watching KSAT since you were a kid. That's right. Yes, we sure were. Three channels is all we had, and channel 12 was the one we picked. So you're familiar with my co-host, Mike. <laughs> yes. All right. So you have a big high school reunion coming up, right? I sure do. 40 years, Thomas Jefferson High School. Looking forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> and you said you guys are pretty diligent about getting together every 10 years, right? We have been. We've had our regular reunions, our 10, our 20. What do you hope to win today? The big prize. <laughs> the big prize, I know, right? You're hoping for that big money, one of those $1,000 on the board. All right, all right, are you ready to spin the wheel there, Susan? Count me down, give me a three, three two, two, one, spin that wheel. All right. Give me a big one. Yes, Living Spaces is committed to making your shopping experience as easy and convenient Ooh. as possible with their unmatched selection and guaranteed low prices. Best of all, you won't have to wait for your new furniture with their same day delivery. All right, Susan, let's right. see where it lands. Hopefully on one of those $2,000 gift cards or maybe one of the $500 gift cards. Let's see what we get. Susan, yes, you got the $1,000 gift card. Yes. Woohoo! Thank you so much. And you shall receive Susan. That's what we're here for. Congratulations on your big win. Thank you. A big thank you, of course, there to Susan Perez for watching SA Live since she was a thank kid. You. Mm -hmm. And to and Living, thank you, Living Spaces. Spaces. Yes, this month's <laughs> prize wheel sponsor. Well, we are going to be spinning the KSAT Insider Prize Wheel for a new winner every week, and you could be next, but you have to be a KSAT Ooh. Insider. For details on how to enter, visit the website ksat.com slash insider. Thanks again, Susan, who is still cheering and congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> All right, have something to celebrate? These aren't your average bouquets. Monday on SA Live, we find out the secret hiding in every bunch. Plus, planning a summer vacation. What's happening this year at the historic national park that will never happen again and what you can expect from the celebration. That and more Monday, one o'clock right here on SA Live. And right now, what do you do when your AC is too small? KSAT local expert John Wayne Service Company takes us along for an install. Hi, I'm Matt with John Wayne Service Company. Today we're installing a new comfort system for our customers here in New Braunfels. Let's check it out. So the main problem that we had uh, in this house is that the system was actually undersized. So it's actually not a problem that we see very often in homes, um, but the system was struggling to maintain temperature in the house because of it being undersized. So we made sure to install a properly sized system for this homeowner, and uh, it should really help the efficiency of this house. 
So this job entails removing the entire old system, inside and outside. And then replacing the air handler. Replacing the outdoor unit. We're also installing improved filtration. Uh, we also are clearing the drain out for the system to make sure it performs normally. We're uh, replacing electrical disconnects and breakers for the unit. We're also installing a smart thermostat on the system as well. This is a smaller job. Um, as you can see, the unit's in a closet. The outside unit's right here next to the driveway. It makes it easy. Uh, so this job should probably take about six hours for the entire install. Again, my name is Matt with John Wayne Service Company, and if you think you can benefit from our services or if you've been thinking about replacing a comfort system in your home, please give us a call or visit johnwayne.com. All right, earlier we asked you, what chores would you want a robot to do for you? Right. Emily says, my least favorite chore, dishes, yes. <laughs> I love that picture. Yes, Lisa Ann cleaned the whole house, of course. Uh, that would be nice. <laughs> Paula, all of yes, them. Yes, right? The just sit back. Yes, we have to do Rosie, a Rosie from the Jetsons. <laughs> yes. And then the Jones Rodriguez definitely mowing the lawn. Yes, that's a great one as well. Hey, if you haven't seen it here in Market Square, we all love the Hispanic Elvis. Elvez, there's a memorial that you can check out in Mi Tierra. It's at the corner of the front lobby, right? And there it is there. What a beautiful sight to see. And they're always so good about honoring and uh, celebrating life there. So be sure to check it out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great weekend. And we will see you here Monday.